I would like to welcome my Ed 10 students in this lecture. So previously we have discussed the ICT competency standards for Philippine pre-service teacher uh, education. Uh, that those are important things that uh, we must know no? because uh, we really have to make use of the technology in our teaching and learning process, especially today, you know, during this time of pandemic where we depend or rely so much on the technology in conducting our classes. Okay, so let's move on with the, today's uh, topic. I would like to share to you this presentation, which will help me discuss the things that we need to learn for today's uh, encounter. So our topics will be technology that supports learning, the roles of the ICT, and the roles of computer and its functions. So what about technology uh, that supports the learning okay, and its roles of, of the, the roles of ICT in education? So let's move on. So we consider technology as tutor. Okay, why? Because it is a teaching machine that teaches new content to students. So for example, no, even as teachers rely so much on the technology because there are things that we do not know and there are uh, things that we want to know but th there's no one to ask no, to or uh, we don't have any resources to to make us uh, familiar with that particular things which we are interested of, something like that. And so we go to the internet or computer and search for it. And then uh, by that, we'll be able to know or be familiar and expert of that particular content or of that particular application. So students are more encouraged and self-directed to learn new applications with embedded tutorials. So it is not new to us that the internet and computer are very helpful in terms of tutorials okay so there are a lot of things that i've learned through just by the use of uh, the the computer and the internet uh, there are topics that i don't know that i was able to to familiarize and uh, masters and that especially in the uh, use of uh, the programming languages or of the applications because as long as you have the the device and you have the internet you can just learn the things by yourself Okay, so next we have technology-based tutorial. So aside from learning uh, by yourself, there are also tutorials available online wherein you can just uh, access and learn no, in your own pace. So without, uh, without, the, without having a teacher by your side or anything that you want to learn, although it's not part of your subject or of your course, but you want to learn it, no? there is a lot of tutorials, no? like in the YouTube. Okay, so uh, gusto, mong, ma, gusto mong lutuin yung ganitong, uh, what's this menu? Okay, you can just learn it in YouTube. There are lots of cooking tutorials, no? uh, best uh, tutorials. No? You just have to select which one you would like to imitate. Okay, there are really uh, useful things that you can uh, get in the in the internet if you are just responsible or if you just uh, make use of it for the good purpose. So that's about technology as a tutor, no? Uh, more of, so there are also a lot of uh, uh, applications or systems such as the intelligent tutoring systems or the ITS. We detail the personalized support in learning, track student responses, makes inferences about strengths and weaknesses, Taylor's feedback and subsequent uh, instruction to improve performance remedial class is provided as necessary. So in this type of uh, uh, system, there are personalized no, uh, support and learning. There are also ways wherein they can track students' responses. And then if the students uh, do, doesn't perform well or the students don't perform well in that particular course okay, or subject, or whatever it is that the students are engaged in in that particular tutorial, they are uh, the, having this what we call uh, remedial classes, no, and making the students uh, know the, the weaknesses and the, the strength. Because before, they are also like in typing, because I've been teaching computer subjects in high school, meron yan dyan master 
master uh, typing no typing it allows students to type as fast as he or she can then meron siyang uh, later after the the drill meron siyang uh, what's this uh, feedback na ito dito ka mahina dito ka malakas magaling ka dito so that and what you are to do to improve your performance in the next uh, exercise something like that so before you can move on to the next exercise meron muna siyang parang may mga preliminary exercises so that you can improve the, the skills and the pass that particular level before moving on to the next no so something like that okay so that's how helpful the computer is or the technology is in terms of uh, tutorials or in, in helping us to be uh, educated or to learn no next we have this what we call integrated learning software or ILS and computer adapted instructions or CIA are other names of intelligent tutoring system they are other names of intelligent tutoring system so also webquest is a good example for technology based tutorial a teacher designed lessons that make use the internet to solve problems presented by teachers for student inquiry okay so i'm not uh, used with this uh, tutorial because i never used it but as much as, as much i views i mean uh, uh, as much as I, I the use of uh, technology or of computer or of internet so how i i know how important or how useful it is in terms of uh, tutorial okay let's move on so another uh, support that the technology provide no so also technology uh, serves as mind tool or mind tools okay so technology are uh, mind tools are technology applications so examples of the mind tools because we have the uh, the database semantic network spreadsheet expert system modeling tools micro worlds word processors graphics adventure games and simulations so mind tools are technology applications they are technology applications that allow learners to simulate organize manipulate visualize or reflect on data information and objects knowledge building tools that allow learners to think critically about the matter they are studying so they are applications okay the applications or they are programs that will help you organize your uh, learning okay organize the, the thing that you want to express or present okay you, you you make use of them to simulate okay your learning or the, the things that comes out to your mind to, to visualize or reflect data okay or information and object so examples okay i've mentioned earlier you can uh, make use also of uh, uh, excel okay or of powerpoint in presenting your ideas if you want to make a sort of uh, database or a simple database you can make use also of microsoft excel if you want to perform some operations simple operations to to automate your activities okay uh, to, to learn more okay you can make use of the excel app applications okay or if you want to make a uh, sample uh, mind tools or concept mapping you can make use of the microsoft word or any applications that would allow you to generate the uh, concept mapping output okay so this is like the, like the examples that i'm uh, displaying right now on screen so this is an example of a database where you can organize your uh, content, okay? You can organize your ideas using uh, concept mapping. You can do this, do this also in Microsoft Word. Or if you want to make some sort of programming, you can also organize your text content using the HTML, okay? So it depends on, on the application that you want to use, which you are familiar, which you are comfortable, in presenting your ideas or your learning or concepts okay and organizing the things that uh, you have learned and you want the things that you you want to share let's move on so let's now uh, talk about the roles of ICT in education there are lots of things that the ICT do for to, to help us uh, teach and to help us as, learn as well so ICT uh, serve as can serve multiple teaching functions. Uh, it could uh, 
drill, we can perform drill and practice using ICT. It can help solve problems. It can help us access information in a different or in different fields. So, like for example, ngayon yung mga teachers don't uh, don't serve as uh, the primary source of information, or we don't manipulate information, we don't monopolize the knowledge. That's why we also teach our students how to use the computer because there are things that uh, uh, we don't know. We cannot give them the things that they should know no, on on the topic that we teach. That's why we have to uh, uh, teach them also or guide them how to uh, screen, how to choose the information, how to, to understand the information, how to uh, access information that which are educational. Okay, so baka lang because they can, they have uh, what's this wide, uh, they have wide, uh, there are lots of information there, information overload sila using the internet, no? So we also have to guide them how to, to what's this, make uh, meaning of the things that they are reading or seeing or uh, searching in the internet. Okay, uh, we have to train them how to, uh, to, to filter you know, the things that uh, they see or they read. So we can make use of the ICT to practice. Okay, uh, for example, uh, you want to make a presentation before you do the presentation on actual uh, venue or an actual in in the time wherein you have to do the presentation pwede kang makapag-practice muna using the technology or the ICT no then pwede rin na i-edit muna before i finalize there are lots of things no which we will wherein the ICT can be a big help no, in, in solving our problems in, in learning and the, in teaching. Next, another role of ICT in education is it can be used in different teaching and learning modes. So just like now we are in a pandemic situation, we, we, are, uh, we have a lot of challenges to students. You have a lot of challenges in terms of learning because there's no face-to-face -face classes your teacher uh, find it difficult to reach out to you or to have a lecture to you, no? even in a virtual, pwede naman maka face-to-face -face, uh, virtually, pero there are lots of uh, uh, problems or concerns or issues. No? Pwede iba kasi walang internet connection, which you also have to consider them. No? So we cannot just uh, held class or hold a class na parang 50% lang yung in attendance, something like that. But anyway, uh, ICT is there, no? That's why we are having this what we call synchronous and asynchronous class to still make education possible, to still make the teaching delivery possible. Okay, so also classroom interactive learning. So we don't just make the class boring. We can also make it interactive. How? You can design your, your materials in an interactive manner, like in a PowerPoint presentation, like in Ma ng content na tamang-tama lang tapos boring lagyan ng mga uh, graphics that's why in your ICT subjects you are taught how you are to make your presentation interesting no you are to maybe put some sort of animation or a high quality uh, picture and the uh, readable text and uh, with harmony design something like that there are lots of uh, design elements that are given to you so that you can make and interactive learning materials, okay, such as presentation. So again, independent learning. So of course, kung kailan ka lang, kahit ikaw lang mag-isa, you can learn by yourself. Kung kailan mo gusto, kung anong oras, kung kahit saan, as long as, as long as you have the technology, you have the device, you have the internet connection. Network learning, pwede kayong makakonect, okay? You can, uh, was this, you can meet up online, okay? Makakonect sa ibang, uh, uh, tao there outside the Philippines, okay? Connect to your friends and learn at the same time. Whatever it is you want to learn, no? Online, you can still uh, uh, connect, okay? To each other, you can have this what we call network learning. Next, we have organizational learning and managed learning. So those are the roles of ICT in education. Another, okay, so... 
information can be delivered in an instant. So especially today, example, merong biglang concern, hindi tayo makapag-meet. Uh, I would like to tell you that we cannot meet. Okay, so there are just there are lots of ways wherein I can, which I can use, no, that, to, to inform you that class will not be having a class today, will not be having a virtual class or a synchronous class due to this and that and so on. So we can easily just send a message through Messenger or in our BLE, or we can just make a phone call, or I can just text you and so on. So because of the ICT, we make those things possible. We make communication very easy, okay? As long as we are willing to adapt or embrace it. So internet allows us to deliver information in a way wide coverage at low cost. So pwede tayong makakommunicate all over the world, no? Wide coverage. Pwede nating ma-reach out yung student natin kapag may student tayo outside the country. Saan man siya sa saan man siya located sa 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 mundo. Okay? So mura lang, okay? You can noon kasi if you are to make a long distance, oh, you have to to pay uh to, to mahal something like that. Parang it's parang high cost, costly siya, something like that. So ngayon, mag-load ka lang. Okay, kung wala kang masyadong, wala kang fiber, no, plan, mag-load ka lang. You can connect, no, to anybody in the world as long as you have internet. Okay? So at this point, we will also discuss the roles and the functions of computers, especially in in education, in our teaching and learning process. So using the computers, okay, computers can increase productivity. What does it mean? So you can be productive if you know how to use computer, if you know how to use or manipulate computer, if you know how to uh, use the applications. Right now, you are having example, nagkaklase ako. Meron akong ginagawang research, okay? Tapos, meron akong uh, group na parang mini-meet sa chat. Okay? Tapos, uh, I'm still uh, searching or browsing for another learning materials for my class. So, pwede ako makagawa ng maraming task at the same time. Okay? Sa isang araw, <clears throat> hindi lang ako nakagawa ng isang task. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I do at least three tasks a day, no? Because of computer. Okay? So that's how useful it is. Another is it facilitates communication between students, teachers, and administra administrators. So that's why nagkaklase tayo ngayon because uh, of the technology. Okay, so the, the administrators are connecting to us, communicating to us as to how we go about with our education, as to how we go about with the teaching delivery. And we decided to have it online using the uh, VLE as our uh, platform. And then, of course, in order for me to be able to reach you, I have to communicate to you using technology. As long as you have the device and the internet, you can read my message, you can communicate, okay, we can have a class. You also, you can communicate to each other no? using those technology, the internet, the, the cell phones, the computer, and all other applications. Okay, so that's it. Next, we have Computers is used to access amounts of information. So without computers and internet, you can never access information in the internet, of course. Okay, so there are a lots of information in the internet which are useful. Okay, if just know how to screen or filter the, the things that you are searching, if you know how to search no, the things that you want to learn, okay, the things that you are interested of. So that's about no. Next, computer is a brilliant aid in teaching. That's why we make use of computers no? in teaching. Kasi kapag, if you teach, tapos may technology ka, so feeling mo parang effective ka na talaga, effective, effective ka. Although, you are the star of the, you are the best uh, uh, teach, teaching aid or visual aid in the classroom. Yet, especially today, you cannot deny that uh, the best, aside from the teacher is that your knowledge of how you are to make use of the technology okay so because if you know how uh, computer is really a brilliant aid it 
makes your students learn by themselves. Okay, and you also you are able to create uh, brilliant teaching materials because of computer. And by that, we uh, make learning possible, and it we we uh, we are sure that the learn that the learning takes place in our virtual classroom. Another is the computer facilitates and facilitate it facilitates an electronic format for storage information. It facilitates an electronic format for storage information. So, ngayon, uh, yung mga ginagawa kong mga learning materials, although I spend a lot of time doing such, but I guess and I believe it's worth it. Why? Because I can save the material and I can use it again in the next year, okay, for my next uh, set of uh, classes, okay? So, kumbaga, uh, okay lang na medyo at first, mag invest ka ng time mo at pagod, no? sa paggawa ng mga uh, digital uh, materials mo for your class. But later, you will just enhance it at medyo easy na ang life, right? So that's it. And I can also share this to you okay, so that you will also learn more because uh, aside from learning it virtually or in lecture or uh, in whatever way, I can uh, make use of the technology to to generate the uh, uh, instructional material, may choice pa din kayo kung paano nyo siya i-access or kung sa anong format nyo siya gustong i-learn. Okay, so I can make I can make a PDF format of this. I can make a presentation of this, of this lecture. And I can make also a video of this uh, content. So that's it. Pwede ako makagawa ng video ng topic natin. Pwede ako makagawa ng PDF format. Pwede ako makagawa ng presentation format niya or ng PowerPoint format. So, I can store it and I can save it and retrieve it for later use. Okay, I can share it. So, that's what it means also. Another is it can teach subjects and enhance the learning of the students. So, that's it. So, kahit anong subject, pwede niyang i-teach kasi... Uh, may mga problema tayo sa mga subjects natin. We don't know how to do this and that. Hindi masyado na lecture ni teacher or na lecture niya, hindi masyado maintindihan. So kahit anong subject, no? we, all we do is to just search it no, in Google, in Yahoo, or in your any of your favorite search engines. And then, nandyan na. Yo? No, si, si, nandyan si knowledge. Nandyan si, si skills. Kasi uh, by practicing no, the things that you've learned, in the internet because of your browsing and the searching skills okay you will be able to comply in the requirements no although hindi masyado na itindihan niyo no pero because of the technology okay marami kang nakikitang mga tutorial videos mga videos na informative pertaining your topics or your subject kahit hindi masyado nagawa ni teacher yun pero because no because we will not just rely on the teacher no Okay, we also have to be responsible of our own learning. So we'll still learn, no? Because of the ICT or because of computers and because of the, what we call technology. So that would be all for today. I hope you've learned in this lecture and uh, whatever things that you've uh, learned here can still be enhanced. You can still read more about the topic that we have because there are things that I might not mention, and there are a lot, no? So, yung mga na-mention ko lang yung medyo I'm sure of, tapos yung medyo ma-remember ma ko, and uh, I also believe in you that you will also be responsible of your own learning. So, that's it. See you in our next lecture video, and God bless everyone.